Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have been watching and wondering, uh, some asking, is this even going to happen? And indeed, it has happened. Donald Trump has been indicted. This makes him the first current or former president to be criminally charged, of course, in relation to the uh, Manhattan District Attorney's Office, uh, their investigation into Trump's Stormy Daniels hush money payment situation. Um, by the way, if I look disheveled at all, it's because I am. Um, I am doing a little on-the-go segment here, a little breaking news segment. I was actually wrapping up recording the show when I saw that this news had broken. Um, and so we'll actually dive into more in-depth everything in relation to this on tomorrow's show, but had to come with a little breaking news segment for you quickly here from the Washington Post. Former President Donald Trump has been indicted by a Manhattan grand jury, becoming the first person in U.S. history to serve as commander in chief and then be charged with a crime. And by the way, the expectation is he'll be, uh, this is what is being reported, arrested on Tuesday. That's when we will see that. The indictment remains under seal, so the specific charge or charges have not been made public. Interestingly, uh, a little bit more here. Now that he is charged, will Trump be publicly arrested? It depends. Once he is indicted, he could be placed in handcuffs and arrested. Um, but prosecutors will most likely reach out to the former president's lawyers and ask whether he would voluntarily turn himself in. That way he could avoid being taken into custody in public view. Um, and then here is his truth social response to all this. These thugs and radical left monsters have just indicated, he says, <laughs> meaning indicted, the 45th president of the United States of America and the leading Republican candidate by far for the 2024 nomination for president. This is an attack on our country, the likes of which has never been seen before. It is likewise a continuing attack on our once free and fair elections. The USA is now a third world nation, a nation in serious decline. So sad, he says. Uh, he will lie so much in the coming weeks and months about all of his legal troubles, and we are ready for that. Um, but what is true about that statement, that truth, um, is that he, well, I guess it wasn't true because he said indicated. I don't know what being indicated means, but he was indicted, which I think was the purpose of, of that word, which is the one true part about what he said there. So fascinating, so huge, so significant. We are witnessing history. I will discuss it all um, properly in more depth on tomorrow's show. So make sure to tune into that. But until then, be well.